Hello and welcome back to my channel, Elements of Style. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be talking about the Senrib Dr. Bag. If you're new to my channel, this is not my first Senrib review discussion. I have several others and I will link them for you below, both YouTube videos and blog posts, so I've got a little bit of everything. This probably is not the most glamorous of setups, but you know, maybe one day I'll have a space where it's not my bed. My office turned into my husband's office during the pandemic, and then that office is currently turned into a nursery for our twins that are due in less than two months. So, here from my bed to talk to you about Senrev, which is kind of funny because Senrev, part of the word that it comes from means uh, sense, and the other one is dream, so kind of just dreaming from my bed, you know? I wanted to talk about the doctor bag specifically because it is the latest addition to my Senrev collection, but it is not the newest as in newest style offered. It's pretty much an original style. It's been around since I first purchased back in 2019. And I'll, be, I'll admit it, whenever I first saw it, I was like, why would I get that bag? What's special about it? But the doctor bag, when I need an actual like big bag to tote stuff around, it is what I grab right now, not the Maestra. So I just want to talk about why I really like it and give you a full rundown. Also, before I go any further, I just wanted to remind you that you can use code Elmelinus for $50 off your Sinref purchase, as long as it's over $250, which most things on the website are. So that's $50 for you. Really easy. Also, before I go any further, I just want to say which one I have. This is the Dolce Leather, which is their softest leather that they offer across the board. The Dr. Bag specifically only comes in two leathers, the Dolce, which I have, and the Pebbled, which is their standard. This is the color of butterscotch. So it's Dolce Leather, butterscotch color. You can only get the butterscotch in this leather. The other one, Pebbled, is different in the sense that it's just a little bit more durable and scratch resistant. I haven't had any issues with this leather, but the pebbled is like the way to go, I guess, if you wear your bags really hard. But I've taken this in a lot of places and haven't had any issues, so I really don't think it's a big deal. Transition you into why I bought this bag. Well, I really liked the color, but also when I bought the Maestra bag, I bought it for work. It was a work specific bag. It fit my laptop in it. It, everything else I needed in it and it was just all around a great bag. It still is a great bag, I just don't reach for it as much. What's funny is that whenever I bought it, I remember Sinrev releasing some stat somewhere saying that the Maestra did better at places like Dallas, which is where I was living at the time, and that the doctor bag did better in LA, which is funny because I live in LA. But I don't really think that it's location that did it for me. I think what changed is just my needs and whether it be because I moved to LA or because of the pandemic or whatnot or that I work from home, I just don't need a, like a work specific bag. And the Maestro is beautiful, but it is a structured bag. It is kind of clunky. That's, it's great because it fits my computer and everything I need, but I just didn't have a need for that anymore. And the doctor bag is more of a unstructured bag, so it kind of smushes and just isn't as, I'd say, it doesn't scream work bag. It still can be used as a work bag, but it doesn't scream work bag. It may not zip with my computer in it like the Maestra closed with, the, with my computer in it, but it still fits a ton. I think that the size is really, it's kind of like deceptive in a way that it actually holds a lot more than it looks like, which I love. Since I'm talking about bags that I love, this is definitely my biggest, like my most used big bag but the Senrev Aria belt bag is probably my number one just because it is so versatile and I can use it as a night out. I can actually, when I travel, I will put it in this bag like as a little clutch where it holds whatever I want in it like on vacation, but then I can take it out of the bag at night and it's not an organizer anymore. It's my handbag, it's my shoulder bag, whatnot, but you're here to learn about the doctor bag. So that is what I'm gonna talk about. Just covering some specifics. It is made in Italy. Not all Sinner's bags are made in Italy, though they all pretty much, I think, are made in Europe. Some of them are made in Spain, and I think some of them are made in Italy. I think that's it, but don't quote me on it. I know they're vetting and testing new factories all the time. So made in, this one's made in Italy. It starts at $8.95. This one is $9.95 because of the Dolce leather. That's $100 more. It actually matches the Maestra bag pricing. So the Maestra starts at $8. 95 and then also has some like the dragon leather that costs more at 9.95 so really isn't a 
big difference there as compared to just comparing to the Maestro because that's what they're pretty much known for. As stated, this is genuine leather. Some of the other Cinder bags they have released in vegan leather styles. This is not one of them. It's available in Dolce leather and the Pebble leather, like I mentioned. It is still a great quality leather that Cinder was known for. They're also known for their inner micro suede that is stain resistant. That's what all their bags have. That's what this one has. Great. This one, just to protect the base, has these leather strips so that when you put it down, it's not touching the actual bag, it's touching the leather strips, which I will actually talk about later. It has a two-way zipper closure. So this is what it looks like. Fully zipped and not squished down. And then it also has a little clasp right here, which I think is very Cinder-esque. It reminds me of the flap on the Maestro front, but it also, of course, has a zipper here. So you can use this or not use it. It has two exterior working pockets. They're pretty deep. Still some stuff in mine. <laughs> and then inside there are seven pockets. And there's a big center area, a zipper side, a pouch side with more pouches. Just a lot of room, a lot of compartments. Showed you what this looks like zipped, but it does zip all the way. And when it's at its full height, it can hold up to a 10 inch tablet fully closed. And then as far as the handles go, you have the two handles here that work really great on your arm. Then also has this strap to where you can use it on your shoulder as a crossbody. It's also removable, which is how you get that signature just kind of squished look of the doctor bag if you don't want it the full like rectangle that it is so yeah as far as the dimensions go i will put them here and uh you can read them but basically i feel like i'm going to talk about is the weight it weighs under three pounds i've mentioned it before but the weight of a bag doesn't really bother me i know some people are very specific about it not weighing a lot but i'm like hey i want it to be sturdy the weight doesn't bother me it's 2.8 pounds if you wanted a comparison, the Maestro weighs 3.28 pounds, so this is lighter than the Maestro, which makes sense to me because the Maestro is a structured bag, this is an unstructured bag. Yeah. So let's talk about what I love about the bag. What my number one thing, what keeps me coming back to the bag are the outer pockets. Typically I'm using this, I'll use it just like out and about, but one of my favorite uses is for travel just because it fits so much and I am obsessed with the outer pockets. That's something that I think that the Maestra is lacking. I love using it, but it's kind of hard to undo the clasp when you're like one-handing it, trying to do something quickly. It's great if you're like setting it down at work, pulling out your laptop, but if it's just on my shoulder, Maestra just kind of like falls open and kind of, it's, it's not that it's not sturdy, it's that it does have like the backpack strap. And so instead of it being one on either side like this, it just kind of like falls forward and I sometimes worry that it would fall over or something would come out. But anyway, I love the outer pockets just for me to shove something I need in there really quickly. It works great when I'm traveling. I think these are my, yeah, these are my plane tickets to when I last traveled and when you're going through TSA, it's just nice to be able to like shove it there where, while you're going through the checkpoint. It works good to just put your phone there. I really try to keep my purse closed as often as I can. I'm not that great about it, but my husband's like, keep your purse closed. So I'm trying to keep it closed, trying to keep it zipped, but when I just need to put something in it really quickly, especially on the go, the pockets come in so clutch and they're, they're just good pockets. They go in really deep. They fit a lot in there. So that is my favorite part about the bag. I also really like the zipper. The zipper is just so easy to maneuver. I know I keep comparing it to the Maestro, but I think that's what the comparison is as far as in the Cinder product line and the zipper just is so much easier to use than the clasp. I do like that it has the clasp option so if you want that look you can have it but it doesn't have to be clasped be closed but I just I just really like the zipper just because it keeps everything in place. I kind of already mentioned it at, earlier but I really like the stability of it. I love that it can just be like be on my arm, be on my shoulder, be across my body with this and it just is super sturdy and there's a there's a strap on each side which again the Maestro doesn't have so I like the stability of it. The Maestro is really sturdy it's just like as far as like opening it and closing it on the go in a rush 
it's just not as easy and then another thing i really like about it is the size it's not as big as the maestros like i've said but it still holds a ton and while it doesn't close let me show you while it doesn't zip with my laptop perfectly in it this is my laptop right here and i can i feel comfortable you know just having it like that and carrying my bag like this should i need to carry my laptop when I do that, I typically have this Senrev envelope clutch. I use that as my laptop sleeve and that keeps it safe from scratches and things like that. But it does fit my laptop, it's 13 inches. I think it's a great size and honestly holds so much more than you think. I've like piled this up with snacks, it holds a lot. And as I am pregnant with twins, I expect to have like my purse stuffed with stuff a lot of the time. So it is, it just felt like a good investment. The last thing, which is pretty like personal, <laughs> I just am obsessed with this color. I don't actually remember if butterscotch is available in other bags. It's only available in the Dolce leather and I know obviously it's available in the doctor bag and I just love this butterscotch tanny color. It's, it's a little light, it's not cognac, but it's like a light nudie tan and it just goes with everything. I love wearing it with jeans, I love wearing it with like a nice dress. I think that it's just a sophisticated looking bag and the color elevates it as well. I love a good black bag, but black can sometimes be boring. I feel like this stands out and goes with a lot too, whereas black is just black. Okay, and you know I like to keep it even, unbiased, honest around here. And so I have a couple things I don't like about the bag. These aren't deal breakers, but just stuff I wanted to mention. So the leather strips on the bottom. I don't really like them. I don't have a problem with them, but I wish they were the metal studs that were on the Maestro bag and the similar bags like that. Cause I feel like that does a better job of keeping your purse off of the ground. I think that they probably did it like this just because the doctor bag is an unstructured bag and the Maestro is structured. And so it just, the metal studs go with it. Whereas this, this is more of a relaxed bag. So maybe this is more relaxed, but I feel like this will still show wear and tear. It hasn't, as you can see, but I feel like it will eventually show wear and tear and I'm like, that's why you put metal studs on it. So not a huge deal, but I kind of wish they were the metal studs. The other thing that I want to talk about is the strap, which I love the strap. I'm so glad it has a strap like this, but you're supposed to be able to remove it and it's kind of hard to remove. <laughs> I'm not going to remove it here on camera because it's kind of hard. You unsnap it here or un I guess it's a button unbutton it here and pull it off of the ring here. It's just kind of hard, especially if you have long nails. I don't have long nails, but it's kind of hard. So I just wish that was a little bit easier, but I guess it's good it just doesn't come off because that mean, that would mean that we'd have other issues, right? <laughs> so that's one part of the strap. The other thing I noticed, let me see if I can see. First time I used it, I used it on a trip. I was going on an airplane. Sorry, not the first time I used it, but the first time I noticed this as an issue. I was going on a trip and I was wearing a crossbody and granted I probably stuffed it to the brim and it was heavy and rubbing against my clothes, but I noticed kind of that it had these little, I don't even know if you can kind of see, like little peely things coming off the side of the strap. There was the, yeah, you can see. And granted I can pull them off and you can't tell that I pulled them off. There's another one. You can tell that I pulled them, you cannot tell that I pulled them off, but it just kind of bothered me of like, hey, this is a nice bag, what's happening? The strap still is intact. It, again, it, it's not a deal breaker, it's not a huge issue, it's just something that I noticed and it was in one of like my initial wear. So it's like, that's not a good sign, but I've been using it, I guess, I don't know, have I had it for six months? I'm not sure. Something around that time and I haven't had any like major issues with it. And like I said, you can't see it, so it's not a huge deal. But I just noticed it and I was like, that's kind of odd, if you will. So yeah, those are really the only two things I don't like about it. So the question that's always asked, is the bag worth the money? Is the center of Dr. Bag worth the investment? And my answer is yes. I think Center of is such a great brand. I love them for who they are, their mantra, woman owned. I love um, everything they base their company on. And on top of that, they make high quality bags Yes, even with the issue on the strap, it's still super high quality and it's not falling apart. It's just something I noticed, but they make super high quality bags. And I think for the price, it just can't be beat. If you were to look 
to something like a more designer bag like Chanel. Well, Chanel's not a good example because it's like the top of the line. Say like YSL or Tom Ford or something like that, that or Gucci, that was in this type of shape, it would be exponentially more than $8.95 or $9.95. And I think it you're getting good quality, maybe even better quality than some of those like true designer bags. Just can't beat the price for the quality that it is. I think this bag is a classic. I think it's super versatile. You can wear it on your arm, your shoulder, crossbody. Without this kind of smushed look, I just think it's a great bag and it is one that I am continually going to right now. So really like that it would work for work and it doesn't scream work bag. Like you could easily transition to drinks afterwards. As an up or down, I wear this with jeans, I wear this with dresses, I wear this on dates, I wear this on day outings, I wear it at the airport. So just all around a good versatile bag that I would recommend. And if you're looking for like a bigger bag to hold stuff, but maybe the structure of the Maestra isn't for you, this is the way to go. It's such a good bag. I really like it a lot. Let me know if you have any questions about it they didn't cover. I am happy to cover it for you, answer it for you. In any of the mediums that I offer, you can put a comment here and I'll respond. You can email me at lauren at elementsofstyle.com. All of this will be on the blog, so I'll include that blog post. You could leave a comment there. Really, there are lots of ways. Oh, you can DM, DM me on Instagram. I have gotten some questions there before, like from YouTube, and I always love meeting you, especially when you come from YouTube. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hit subscribe. I am producing videos pretty much as much as I can, especially before the twins get here. And I'm just so glad you're here. You can keep following along with me on my Instagram at Elmolinas and on my blog, Elements of Style. Thank you so much.